Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to look at using or accessing my Gmail account with a screen reader. Let me just go through a few basic details about what I'm using. First of all you can see that I'm using a Windows 8 machine and the screen reader that I'm using is NVDA which you can see hopefully bottom left of my desktop and the browser that I'm going to use is Firefox. Now the reason why I'm using NVDA and Firefox when I'm accessing Gmail is this is the combination that Google suggests. They recommend that on a Windows machine if you're accessing any of their apps then you want to be using Firefox and NVDA. Okay so let's open up Firefox Now, the um, remember that your, your control key will just quieten NVDA down as you're trying to do stuff. So just press that if it's getting your nerves. Hopefully you can hear NVDA um, in this video as it interacts with what I'm doing. So let me go to my Gmail account. Okay, so I've got my work Gmail account there. Just going to put my password in. Okay, so what I'm going to go through is um, a list of what I consider to be some of the most useful keyboard shortcuts as you're using Gmail with NVDA. And then you can see there that NVDA is reading through lots of information. So I'm just going to press the control key. Now, what happens, of course, is when you open up Gmail, you go straight into your inbox. And the shortcut keys that I found most useful for moving between the different emails within your inbox is the up and down arrows. The down arrows takes me through older emails and the up arrow takes me to my you know newer emails so to speak. Okay, so if for instance if I wanted to if I wanted to compose a new email I would just press the C key at this point and you can see up on my screen I've got um, a new email. I can then that I can then write. So I'm just going to get rid of that by pressing escape. Hello. Now something that has taken me a long time, a couple of hours to actually figure out is for instance is when I'm switching between screens is how to tell the screen reader how to give it the proper focus back on the page. Um, and Google actually recommend the shortcut shift plus escape which at this point is meant to it's meant to get me back to my inbox so I can move through my inbox and that doesn't seem to work what does seem to work is pressing the insert key which is the NVDA key the insert key and the space key okay now you can hear that noise and you can hear that I'm back to being able to navigate through my Gmail inbox. As I said, that has taken me a couple of hours to work out why that wasn't working. Another, sorry, let's get rid of that. Another keyboard shortcut that um, Google recommend is the control key and the plus button. No, sorry, the control key and the full stop button is meant to take you to your more recent emails and the control key plus the comma button is meant to take you to previous emails but those two those two shortcuts don't work for me and, and, and as I said I just use the up arrow and the down arrow as well okay so if we wanted to get to the um, your contacts I would press the G key then the C key there we go. If I want to get back to the inbox, I would press the G key plus the I key. Okay. 
So you can see there that I had a problem with that page and I couldn't get back to the inbox from it. So I had to press the insert key and the space key again just to refocus the screen reader on the proper part and then I could get back to the inbox. Now if I want to get to the sent menu then I press the G key and the T key and there we go. Shows shows you my sent mail. Okay, so let's go back to the inbox with G and I. And you can see again it's not working, so I'm going to press insert plus space. And when you hear that noise, it's almost like a, a shop checkout till. That means that the focus is there and we can go back to the inbox. Perfect. Okay, so I've just got uh, some kind of newsletter up here, so I'm going to press enter. And so this is going to come on, come up, so the email is going to come up. Now, if I want to press reply to this, if I wanted to reply to this, sorry, I'd press the R key. And there we go, I've got a reply. Um, and if, or if, let's go, let's go back, let's just delete this. Okay, now for instance, if I wanted to delete this email at this point, instead, I would just press the hashtag. And you can see at the top, it says the conversation has been moved to the bin. Okay, so I'm going to press the insert and the space key again and wait for the checkout sound. There we go. Now also another, lastly sorry, um, a very good key to, very good shortcut key to knowing this is pressing the shift and the question mark. And what happens is you get a list of keyboard shortcuts, the official list of keyboard shortcuts for everything you need to do in Gmail. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Any comments, and there are bound to be some, please put in the comments box below the um, video itself. Thank you for watching.